Lions TV, this is the Den Daily, bringing you all the latest gossip views and transfer news from in and around the Den. Today, there has been a transfer room, and I wasn't sure whether to go with it or not. Let me explain my process of how I think that a rumour is concrete, or it has legs, or there has been a bid. So, I've got on Twitter... Tweets on notifications for Richard Cowley, who is London News Online. Jake Sanders, who is a little bit of London News Online freelance, does a bit for News at Den as well, and News at Den. Now, if a rumour is produced by either of those three or an article is shared, then in my mind, it's got legs and I will go with it. If I shared every rumour that I heard around the ground, on the group chats and from other outlets on the internet, then I would constantly be on screen and my moon head will be a constant fixture on your on your screen. So I try to, you know, I just don't want to keep putting videos out for the sake of it. But if you say it's concrete, I will go with it. On the group chat the other day on the Lions TV group chat, my mate said, Matt Smith's going to Wigan. I said, where did you see that? Don't say the 72. And he went, yeah, the 72. Now, no disrespect to the 72, the Football League world, 24-7, uh, Millwall News Now, who are in fact just someone who doesn't create their own content, they just share other people's, which is fair enough, it's a good outlet for Millwall fans. No disrespect to those guys, like I said, they're all working hard, they're all producing content for people to enjoy. However, I won't go with a rumour, unless it is on one of the aforementioned ones, Richard Kelly, News of Dent, or Jake Sanders. Now, I'm at the Cholton game today, the under-23s, video's out for that, by the way, don't be shy, check that one out if you haven't already. And my mate said, oh, we're after this young Dutch player, I said, where did you see it? Don't say the 72 or News Now. He said, I saw it on News Now. So, okay, so I won't go with it just yet. However, about an hour into the game, it did sneak and make its way onto London News Online. So if it's good enough for them, it is good enough for me. But they did word it very well on London News Online. And they said, Dutch press have reported that Millwall have made an offer of £1.3 million for 23-year-old attacking midfielder from Fortuna Sittard, and his name is Zane Fleming. Okay, so there definitely is something in us going into the foreign market. This is definitely an angle the club's looking to go down. Gary Rowett said in the week that we haven't bid for Pape Habib Dewey, but we are interested in him. And there's been a lot of rumours now that we're going to dip into the foreign market. I've given my thoughts on that. I think it's a goer. I think it's difficult to pull off. But I think it's a way you can unearth a gem. Like I've said before, uh, you know, you go with your youth, you try and pluck a non-league gem, but social media is massive now and and and, and clubs will gazump you. I think if you can find a gem, and Riyad Mahrez, I know I'm not saying that Fleming's going to get to his level, but I think Leicester paid about 400k for him. So if you can pull it off, it does work. But 1.3 million is a lot of money, as I've said, in the scheme of things at our club. So what do we know about Zane Fleming? We know he's come from good pedigree. He come through the youth system at Ajax, born in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, 23 years old, attacking midfielder. And he's obviously no mug. He's scored since joining the club in 2020, 15 goals in 45 appearances. Not bad at all for the top tier of Dutch football, where his team currently sit, unfortunately for them, 17th out of 18 teams in the division. So, where do we go with this? He's an attacking midfielder player, so I'm assuming he's a 10. I think we're in on date with wide men. I don't think we need any more. We've got Ojo currently doing that job. And listen, I think it's a good move. Of course, you've got to integrate him into English football. And as I said before, with the um, Gouet Alafe thing, surely League 2 is a lot easier to scope than, uh, you know, than, du than, than, than Belgian football. But in this case, top tier of Dutch football, obviously no mugs, although they're near the bottom of the division. Have we got anyone else that could do that sort of job at our club, a youngster? Sean O'Brien springs to mind, but in a minute, I think he's injured. He didn't play for the 23s today. Fantastic young player uh, for us at the club. Very creative, very Jack Grealish-esque with his appearance and his approach to the game. Can pull strings, great delivery. Um, but he went out alone on Bromley and he hasn't really um, come back from his injury yet, so... You know, I think £1.3 million to spend. It isn't a lot of money in the world of football, is it? But to us, as I've said already, it is. I like the fact he's young. I like the fact he's come from Ajax and that he's done the business in Dutch football. I think the article said he scored three goals and made three assists this season. As we know now, and it's a comfort, we know our strikers will score goals. And Phoebe and Bradshaw striking up a brilliant partnership. And if they can get more service, then we know they got goals in them. And that's, that, that really, really does give me some comfort sitting here 
saying this video to you that, that that we know now we've got a strike partnership that works. We always thought that we're going to play one up front or it's got to be a big man, small man. I think we've proved now, or those two have, that the, the two little men, Pacey, can get about, you know, energetic. They can score goals. Ojo's starting to play well in behind, but I think now, you know, if we can get a proper decent 10 and show that we've got a little bit of intent with a little bit of money thrown at it, that he possibly could do the business. That's all I know for now, but of course, I will bring you more as it comes in, and hopefully it does. I'm excited to see how this one pans out. But for now, that's your lot for the Den Daily, and I'll be back Wednesday. Podcast booked in. We're going to do a departures podcast. As obviously, you know, players coming in, potentially going out. Jeb Wallace, we departed out the cup, of course, on Saturday. So we'll be back on Wednesday for a podcast. Thursday for a preview for Inform, not in the forest, at the Den on Saturday. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.